definitely be affected the most by the separation are Kim and Kanye's four children, especially their oldest one, daughter Northwest, who turns eight next June. So what kind of co-parenting plan have Kim and Kanye come up with, and how will it affect their kids? Whether you're rich or poor, a celebrity or a regular person, divorce is never easy. While divorce is an extremely stressful event for any couple, it's especially difficult and confusing for children. When a marriage comes to an end, children may experience different emotions as they try to understand the change their parents' separation creates. And now that arguably the most famous couple in the world, Kim Kardashian and Kanye West, are reportedly ending their marriage, the fans are naturally wondering how the divorce will affect Kim and Kanye's kids. Seven-year-old daughter North, five-year-old Saint, daughter Chicago, and one-year-old son Sam. Following the news about Kim and Kanye's separation, a source close to Kim told the British tabloid The Sun that Kim is determined to get full custody of the children. However, Kanye is apparently equally ready to fight for the kids, and according to the source, custody battle will be brutal. Kim and Kanye's prenup reportedly doesn't contain a custody agreement, and the insider explained that although the couple's divorce may seem amicable, it's only a matter of time until things get ugly. Neither of them wants to seem like the loser in this divorce, and they both will fight hard for their kids, said the source, and added, Kim has made it clear she wants full custody, so if Kanye tries to fight her on that, the custody battle will be brutal, and Kim won't back down. According to the same source, Kim's mom, Kris Jenner, is terrified that she won't be able to control the situation. They know they cannot control Kanye, especially when he struggles with his bipolar disorder. So there is no telling what he's going to say publicly. Last summer was an indicator of that, explained the insider. But what about the kids? Do they have any say in this? While Saint, Chicago, and Psalm are probably too young to understand what's going on, Kim and Kanye's first child, Northwest, has previously made it clear that she would rather live with her dad in Wyoming than stay in Los Angeles with her mom. Kanye West has a long history of controversial outbursts, but his by far the most shocking moment took place during his first presidential rally in July 2020 in Charleston, South Carolina. Distraught-looking Kanye showed up to the rally wearing a bulletproof vest and had the words 2020 shaved into his head. He then made an hour-long rambling speech full of controversial comments, from saying that Harriet Tubman never actually freed the slaves to claiming his father wanted to abort him. And while he was discussing abortion, Kanye shockingly revealed that he wanted to do the same thing with his first child, Northwest, but changed his mind at the last minute. Kanye started crying while discussing Kim's first pregnancy and yelled at the crowd, She had the pills in her hand. My girlfriend called me screaming, crying. I'm a rapper, and she said, I'm pregnant. She was crying. Kanye said he was working on his laptop in Paris at the time and added, My screen went black and white, and God said... If you F with my vision, I'm going to F with yours. And I called my girlfriend and said, we're going to have this child. The rapper then hinted at divorce and said that even if Kim were to divorce him after the speech, she brought North into this world. Kanye then broke down and started screaming, I almost killed my daughter. And while Kim didn't comment on Kanye's controversial claims publicly, a source close to the Kardashians revealed that the entire family was concerned, upset, and alarmed by Kanye's comments. A source also told Entertainment Tonight that Kim was upset with Kanye for talking about the possibility of having an abortion and not giving birth to North, and added that the reality star knows this is something North will see when she gets older, and that's heartbreaking. But an even bigger shock for Kim was finding out how her daughter really felt about her dad. At the time, In Touch magazine spoke to a source who revealed that Northwest is a daddy's girl, and she wants to be with her dad in Wyoming among Kim and Kanye's marital troubles. The insider said that Kim was absolutely shocked to hear her firstborn child would rather live with Kanye than stay with her in Los Angeles. As for the fans' reactions, most of them seem to agree that Kim should get full custody. Many fans pointed out how this is only fair considering all the times Kanye dragged Kim every single time he had an outburst. Some of Kim's fans are even saying she should not only get full custody, but should also walk away with all of Kanye's money. But then there are also those who are convinced that this was all part of the Kardashians' master plan. These fans are saying the reality TV family may have pushed Kanye to his Twitter breakdown a few months ago so Kim could keep custody of her kids during the divorce.